Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another John and Q Tactical ASMR video. I hope you're doing splendid. I hope you're doing well. I hope it's been a good day or a good night. So, this video is going to be quite fun and different only because I've been getting this question and comment all the time lately in my videos. Everyone's asking me, Johnny, can you please do ASMR with your guns? Going through the guns, uh, touching them, manipulating them, uh, sliding them back, and kind of going through the different attachments that you have on your guns. And finally, I was like, you know what? That sounds like a very, very good idea. So sit back and relax while I show you the guns that I have on the wall. Obviously, I'm not going to go through all of my guns because one well, number one, that's a lot of guns in the background, which by the way is a real background and it's not green screen. It's not a green screen like some people think it is. And number two, I have more guns that I just need to put on the wall and make cool. So I'm not going to go through all of my guns, right? I'll go through a couple of my guns. I'll kind of go through the attachments. I'll do some some tapping ASMR, and we'll go from there. And just so you guys know, all the guns on this wall and that will be in this video are going to be safe, cleared, and empty. I've double-checked them all, and they're safe, cleared, and empty. What does that mean? Well, that means when you handle a firearm, one of the first rules one of the first rules of firearm safety is treat every firearm as if it were loaded. So even if you know that it's going to be, even if you know if it's loaded, you still treat it as if it was loaded, even if it is unloaded. So I just want to make sure that is very clear and people don't come at me in the comments because I'm very big on safety. I'm very big on handling weapons the right and correct way. So... Let's start with the gun that I have on me right now, the Springfield uh, Echelon. Springfield Armory Echelon. This is their, their new polymer duty uh, rated gun. And let me tell you, it's one of my favorite guns that I own. Like, it's one of my favorite guns. <laughs> it shoots so flat, it's amazing. But, all right, let's go through some of the sounds from the Springfield Echelon. This is the, uh, this is the light. This is the light. The light is actually, this is a Surefire X300 light, and you can manipulate the light, turn it on, and turn it off by pressing the tab right here on the light. So if you press on it, you get, you get some light, right? But if you switch it, also get light and I what I love the most about firearms is the fact that okay I love pistols number one number two I love extended magazines just something about extended mags that just makes me makes me happy it makes me happy because you know if I had a mag that 17 rounds which is what the echelon holds. It's great, right? It looks cool. But then it's like, what if we added just another two or three rounds and added the extended magazine? Like, that just looks so much cooler. It's got, like, this John Wick-esque to it. And I'm, I'm really about it. I'm, I'm all about that, that look. I love guns that just look really cool. And this gun is it <laughs> for me. 
God, it just it sounds so good. I freaking love it. Okay. Okay, and for my optic, we have a Trejicon uh, RMR Type 2 optic. Uh, let's see if you can hear the... It's got soft padding, so you can't really hear me um, turning up the brightness on the red dot. But... Okay, so that's the Springfield um, Armory Echelon. Okay, actually, I'll, I'll, I'll do it again. I've done this before, but let's do some just quick uh, out of the holster ASMR. Oh. Sorry, that was a little a bit aggressive. <laughs> if you guys think I should do like aggressive ASMR, uh, like I've seen other ASMRs do, comment down below because that would be a wild and crazy video. Mm, that's a really good holster. I like this holster. Mm. I like this gun. This is the Echelon by Springfield Armory with the uh, Shutterfire X300 light and a Type 2 uh, RMR Trigicon optic. That'd be a crazy video if I did something that quick <laughs> and aggressive. Okay. Okay, let me show you, let me show you a rifle next. I was gonna show you another pistol, but I love pistols. Let's do a rifle. Um, let's go with, and I have, you know, several rifles in the background. I'm not gonna show you all the rifles just because that will take a long time. But maybe I'll incorporate them in a video every now and then. So let's go, let's see, let's look back here. Hmm. Okay. I've showed you, I've, sh I've shown you in other videos my, my patrol rifle, right? So. Hmm. I'm gonna show you one of the first rifles I have ever bought. I actually bought it from a friend uh, in the academy, and he let me shoot that gun on the range during uh, range day at the academy, oh, just last year, or a couple years ago, a, couple, a year, uh, whenever, the police academy, whenever that was. And ever since I have shot that rifle, it felt home. It was like one of those one of those things where you like get into a new car and you realize this is the car for me. This is this is the car that I want to drive every single day. And that was that rifle for me. So let me bring it out for you and show you. It's I love this rifle. Just this, oh man, it just, this is a good feeling rifle. I, I don't, just something about it. Oh my gosh. So this is a Smith & Wesson um, rifle. I believe this is the first MMP. MM, this is the, yeah, this is the MMP 15 model. And man, it just, It shoots really well. It's really flat um, as far as like shooting. Um, I did upgrade it. Uh, a couple things on here I did upgrade. So like I had I had a hollow sun and then I switched out for this hollow sun optic, the 510C. Um, there was a foregrip on here. I didn't like that foregrip so I changed it to, this, this is a Magpul uh, second. Um, for a grip. What else did I put on here? I kept, there was a, some quality Magpul, and these flip up. Here, I'll show you. Rear sights. So if you just click this little button here. I like that. It's nice. It's got a nice rear um, Magpul sight. And then it comes stock with, obviously, this A2 
uh, uh, not optic, sorry, iron sight with the rifle. So, but yeah, this is, I mean, this is a great feeling rifle. I forget how much I like to, I like to shoot this rifle. Oh, I also upgraded the charging handle. So the charging handle is back here. This is a Radian Raptor. Gotta ride that charging handle. Uh, but yeah, Radian Handle, uh, char Radian Raptor charging handle. And then I upgraded the castle nut and the plate back here. Castle nut and plate. And then I also upgraded the stock. This is a BCM stock, I believe. Yeah, I think this is, hold on, let me double check. Bravo Company. Yeah, this is a BCM uh, stock, which I like this stock a lot just because I can manage my cheek rather well um, on the cheek well here of the stock. So, but overall, I mean, this is a pretty great shooting rifle. It's funny because I say that now, but I haven't shot this rifle in a little bit. All right, I'll, uh, I'll show you the clicky noise of the optic. It is, it is quite satisfying already. Turn it to full brightness. Down low, full brightness. Oh yeah, that's a good, that's, oh that's good. forget how much I like this rifle. What I do want to do, what I didn't like about the rifle is actually that it's it's got a paint job. I wasn't a big fan of that camo paint job, but I was like, mm, I can always paint it in the future. But I might just leave it like this, honestly. I may just leave it like this and then probably just get another Smith & Wesson uh, m and and just get it in all black and then go from there. But, I mean... Not a bad rifle, honestly. Gosh. Hold on, let me clean the optic really quick. The only thing that I'm missing um, on this rifle is, hold on. Thing that I'm missing on this rifle is maybe maybe one or two things and so I think what I need to get on this rifle is I need to get a flashlight to put on the Picatinny rail so I gotta get a, I gotta get a flashlight I might go with like a cloud defensive light or I might go with um, so it's actually on here what is it? This is, um, yeah the stream light uh, HL like the the bigger one so, yeah, honestly, the Edge MMP 15 is a pretty sweet rifle. But yeah, I, I just like the look of that. It just looks very menacing to me, and I like that it looks pretty menacing. I just, that's what I like. But yeah, I think I'm gonna put a, um, not a rifle, I'm gonna put a flashlight on here. And then I think what I wanna do is probably get like a laser, probably like a laser on this side. So I can have a flashlight and laser. 
you know. And if I ever need, the, if my optic ever goes out, I always have this uh, post up here, the uh, iron sight, front post sight, and then flip that up, and I have my rear sight. So I do like that about this rifle. But man, this is, I like this rifle. I forget how much I like it. But yeah, those are just a few of the upgrades that I've done on this rifle. Um, this was like my, my first rifle, I would say, that I would like heavily train on at the beginning of, you know, last year and then this year. So it's a good training rifle and rarely ever malfunctions, which is really good. So, yeah, I like that a lot. Okay, let me put it, let me put it away. Let me show you one, one pistol, and then let's see here. One, one more pistol. Mm, actually, maybe, maybe I'm gonna save it for the next video. I think I'm gonna see how this video does before I go into more guns. But if you did like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe, and also follow. And well, I did say subscribe. <laughs> My bad. Make sure to share. Okay. And if you guys want to see just different. Um, content, please make sure to comment down below, and I'll try to get that stuff, uh, that, those comments, those suggestions, in another video, so, I'm giving you some freebie tapping ASMR. Also, I've been getting a lot of people asking that, you know, I should be doing, or comments that I should be doing some role play. So maybe I'll put some role playing videos in the queue here in the future. So um, thank you guys for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, uh, and comment down below, and I'll catch you in the next tactical ASMR video.